to reference information if they want more. You're going to have to think about this. What do second, third, and fourth waivers want out of a presentation? It's different. Second waivers want something different than fourth waivers. When you're giving presentations, you're going to have to adapt to different audiences. If you do, that your communication, and let me just tell you, you are 100%, this gentleman right back here, communication, if you're good at communicating with all three waves, you will vault to leadership in incredible amounts of time. The people that I see promoted at all organizations are usually second waivers that can communicate with third and fourth waivers or fourth waivers that can communicate with second and third waivers. It's communication. Problem is when you get stuck in that rut and all you want to do is email or all you want to do is phone calls or all you want to do is text, that's where we run into problems. Any other questions, comments? Yes? In fact, in our, in our, in this kind of a setting, there is a, there's one thing that works for all three waves. Guesses? Both Jeff and I try, try, have tried to do it more than what you might see from normal speakers. Does that give you a hint? Audience involvement. Interaction. That is the common denominator for all three waves. Presenting two? No. That may work for a second waiver. It certainly doesn't work for third and fourth waivers. PowerPoint, fourth waiver's okay with it. Second waiver's don't need it. The common denominator, interaction, involvement. That's what you gotta do with your presentations. Okay, uh, great discussion, thank you very much. We'll turn time back over to Jeff for the last principle. Guys, this is huge. Because you're gonna be out there in whatever business, nonprofit, whatever it is, church group, whatever it is, if you as a leader know that one cannot not communicate, and then you can learn to communicate with these various waves, you're the leaders. You're the one that's going to get chosen. They're going to say, uh, Cindy, she can communicate with second, third, and fourth, and maybe fifth wa waivers. This is huge. Hey, Scott, yes. what was that uh, when we were out at uh, uh, Lockheed? What was that turnover rate that was going to happen there? Weren't they going to lose? 55% of their 9,000, that's just that one location. Yeah. 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 That division has about 35,000 employees. 55% of those will leave in the next five years. So Talk about a leadership five. vacuum, folks. Huge opportunities out there in companies for people that can communicate and especially intergenerational. Now it's going to be really easy for some of you to say, ah, he or she's kind of old, they're a second generation, second generation. We don't really need to give them a whole lot of time because you know most of our employers are, are fourth generation. Those second generations, they have massive amounts of skill, massive contacts, and massive knowledge that if you can figure out a way to integrate, you will be the leaders. Huge, huge, huge concept. Thank you, Scott. Let's see, where's my note here? Mm -hmm. Okay, final principle. And again, these are kind of soft principles. We're not giving you a lot of mathematics here. Here's the next principle. Let's see if we can find it. Okay, there's leadership principle number three. Everybody got it? Okay? We got, okay, we can end now. Let's go home. Neguia woe. By Rawi, does anybody even want to take a chance for the cauldron of earthly delights? You're not going to get it. You're not going to get it, but we'll get to it. We'll get to it. One of the greatest industrialists of our time, probably a second waiver, maybe even a yeah, second waiver, said this. And one of the words in here is in this. I want to see if this helps anybody figure it. You've probably seen this. Somebody, somebody knows this. You can do anything if you have blank. Blank is the yeast that makes your hopes rise to the stars. 
Any wags? What's right? Enthusiasm. Get up here! Get up here! It's enthusiasm. Help me. Do you want to grab something? Yeah. Yeah. Go get you. Go get you an orange dream machine. Hey, she got a Hawaiian dancer. All right. That, you can stick that in your car, and as you drive around, it'll wiggle back and forth. So here we go. I want somebody for a trip to the cauldron of earthly desires to stand up and read this with some enthusiasm. Okay. Ooh, you're quick. Good enthusiasm, by the way. Just stand up there and recite that. Okay. You can do anything if you have enthusiasm. Enthusiasm is the yeast that makes your hopes rise to the stars. Enthusiasm is the sparkle in your eye. It is the swing in your gait, the grip of your hand, the irresistible surge of your will and your energy to execute your ideas. Enthusiasts are fighters. They have fortitude. They have staying qualities. Enthusiasm is at the bottom of all progress. With it, there is accomplishment. Without it, there are only do you think he thought enthusiasm? Oh, by the way, come on. Woo! Woo! The cauldron of earthly desires. Thank you. Very good. Enjoy. Thank you. That was very nicely done. You know, this is uh, Henry Ford had this like blown up and stuck on his fireplace. I, I, can, can you imagine one athlete that competed in the Olympics that didn't have some enthusiasm? Guys, leaders have enthusiasm. Without it, things kind of meander along. With it, you can accomplish great things. Anybody want to take a whack at that first phrase? Okay. Okay, it's, it's close, but it's not quite there. Never, never go without enthusiasm again. Not quite. You've got it, it. We'll come back. Keep hold tight. Okay, okay hold it. She's she first. Okay, you go first. You go first. Okay. Woohoo! Come on up. All right. <laughs> For a, for a bonus, for a bonus, do you know what this is? Oh, fantastic. You know what? You, you, don't get, you don't get the cauldron, but you get one of these. All right. Hey, fantastic. You go to the cauldron of earthly delights and pick out something, and then go get a razzmatazz. Good job. Good job.